my channel. So today I'm going to do my Pound That Palette, which is the Urban Decay Stone Vibes. I'm going to do an update. I feel like this is not going anywhere, this palette, but hopefully there's a little bit of progress. I, I am still using it. I just feel like it's not as visible and, you know, easily seen as it was the beginning of the year. So I've definitely slowed down. I've been saying that for the last few months. It's been a little bit of a struggle, but I'm still pushing through and I'm determined to at least make it for the rest of the year. And I think maybe for next year, I will try to do two different palettes just because I know around the six month mark is when I kind of start dragging my feet. So maybe I'll do that next year, but this for this year, I'm gonna keep it with the stone vibes. I'm also going to do my pan that palette in order. I have spoiled this massively in a few videos of mine where I've shown you where I am with the progress on this, but at least you can get like the quantity and how many times I've used the shades and whatnot. And if you haven't seen my other videos and this is the only one that you do want to watch, then obviously it is not spoiled. So uh, let's start with this one maybe. So pan that palette in order, I massively uh, was inspired by Caitlin Costello. She no longer does it, but she was doing a pan that palette in order. So basically you want to hit pan in all the shades in order. And being the idiot that I am, I picked uh, one of the biggest palettes in my collection to do this, uh, which is the Beauty Bay Earthly Palette, which is kind of crazy. So there's still plenty to go. Pretty much um, <laughs> everything uh, I need to hit pan on. So this is what it's looking like if you want to have a look. Um, so yeah, I've started over here and I hit pan on that one. This one is the most recent one that I've hit pan on. It does look awfully ugly. It's like a really ugly, ugly dip, an ugly, I would say liner pan, you know, I basically use this shade as a liner because I absolutely don't really enjoy it. It's probably my least favorite shade in the palette, to be fair, looking at all of the other shades. This one might give me a little bit of a struggle as well, just because they're more of those slightly darker shimmers where I'm not really sure how to use them. So I ended up using it as a liner, did not enjoy it at all. I did end up using it though nine times before I hit pan. So I did get some use on it. I already started working on this shade, which is the next one, because I'm going down instead of across. So the next one is called Fern, and I have used that four times so far. So I've actually used quite a bit of, obviously, these two shades. Um, this one I think is, is going well. I actually used it again yesterday. It's it's a decent one. Um, there's a tiny bit of disturbance. I don't think I've ever used that shade previously, or if I have, it's just been the one use. So I definitely have quite a bit to go. And yeah, I, I, I kind of regret pulling this palette in. I think when I decided to go with this palette, I was really into my greens. And I'm not into my greens at the moment, so I really think this is a struggle. But I'm going to stick with it because it's just one shade. It's like a pan those eyeshadows, really, if I start thinking of it that way. So, it, you know, I don't need to force myself. I don't need to power through this really fast. I do want to get down to some of these other ones, though. But because it's pan that palette in order, um, yeah... I don't know, maybe I should bend the rules and just pick and choose what I want to do next. I think maybe that would make a little bit more sense because this shade is really calling to me. This is such a pretty shade. Oh, it's gorgeous, that shade. It's calling to me. I'm looking at it in like a little mirror here. It, that, that is a really beautiful shade. So I'm thinking, I don't know, let me know if you care <laughs> in the comments if it would be cheating, if I maybe just pick and choose what, which shade I hit pan on next, as opposed to doing it in order. So in a way, it's kind of like a pan that palette, like a normal pan that palette. I think I might get more progress in the palette that way, and I will get less tired of greens, and I will pan the greens that I want to pan, and not just the ones that I absolutely despise. So, I don't know, it's kind of going against my better judgment in the format that I'm doing right now where I'm basically hate panning because I never want to hate pan. I feel like that was a hate pan right there. <laughs> Let me know if maybe I should just pick and choose because I think probably I, I would want to pan that one. And I think that one would be pretty easy to hit pan on because this one wasn't very hard to hit pan on. It might not just be the shimmers that I hit pan on and more of these because these are perfect for this time of year. So I would much rather start this side of palette versus over here. 
I don't know, let me know. But that's kind of where I am with this palette and what I'm thinking. Okay, moving on to my official pad map palette. So I'll put up on the screen kind of what it looked like around here sort of area. Um, I'm not very good with my video, like my, my pictures and stuff. I'm going to try to be a little bit better maybe coming next year. Um, I just don't have it in me to do a lot of close-ups and things. So I will try to put a little bit more effort in uh, next year. But um, for now, I think you can have a little thing. And um, last update, I didn't have anything significant to say about this palette. But this time, I actually have finished a shade, which I did already spoil in some previous videos. But I did hit... Um, not hit, but I finished this shade Good Karma. So I used this six more times. It was basically a powder I um, broke because it was all on the outskirts. I broke it down and I used it as a loose eyeshadow and I used it six times before I called it done. Obviously I lost a little bit of product doing it that way, but you know, otherwise I just wasn't gonna get anything out of that. So that one is done. I have not gone into Jade this month. Uh, Opal Aura I've gone into twice, I've gone into Tiger's Eye twice, I've gone into Vibes three times, I've gone into Antidote four times, uh, Hex I've gone into four times, have not used Blood Gem, Ojo I went into once, uh, did not go into Raw Energy, and then Meditate I went into two times, and Third Eye I went into three times. So not a huge amount, and... I don't think any of these look different, even though I've gone into them. I could be wrong. This one might look a little bit different. It's all pretty powdery now. Maybe this one looks a tiny bit different. I still want to hit pan in Hex. It's still officially my goal because it really would be nice to get another pan. And actually, when I went into Ojo, this is always the shade that I really don't enjoy. When I went into it this last time, it actually looked really pretty. I paired it with a green from another palette and it actually worked really nicely. So I also have a little bit more of a dip in that one. So I feel a little bit more comfortable hitting pan in that one. And then if I do hit pan in Ojo and obviously Hex, then I've hit pan in every single thing. And I think that would make me very happy. <laughs> so uh, Hex, I really feel like I'm close. I really do feel like I'm close. So I just need to put a little bit more um, but yeah, that one went in only four times. So if we do a little bit more times, I think I'm very close to hitting pan. And Ojo, I think probably take me a little bit longer, but I don't see it not being a possibility now. Whereas before I always felt like I just wouldn't hit pan because I really didn't like it. I actually really enjoyed how I used it the other day. So that's where I am. But like I said, I feel, I, I mean, I'm, I, I, I love this palette. I enjoy it. But, you know, it's boring at the end of the day, always going into the same palette. That's how I generally feel. And I think that's why I have so many eyeshadow palettes or I keep buying more eyeshadow palettes because there's something about the newness of it and like different color stories or textures or formulas. And I always like to try new things, but I am being mindful about that because obviously I still like all the new palettes that I keep acquiring. Uh, I want to use, right? I don't want to just keep buying stuff and then never paying attention to it. So I try to make a good effort with my shot, my sashes and everything else to at least get my hands on all my palettes every once in a while. And I feel like that obviously slows me down on focusing on just the one palette, but also it's just in my nature to get bored <laughs> if I use something over and over and over again. Um, but I think it's been a really good pan up palette for the year so far. So we are in October, obviously. I only have two more updates on this. So really, we'll see how I get to. I really would like to get those two shades, have a pan in them. Um, I don't think I'm going to finish anything else. So really, in terms of a pan up palette, uh, where you finish the whole palette, I clearly have not done that, but I have hit pan in almost every single shade. I finished the shade already so far. So I'm very pleased with where I am. And considering I kind of gave up last year on my e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette, even though I had a really good like start and really good progress, I did give up around this time of the year on that one. That was more for personal reasons, but also I think I was feeling the same thing where I was just a little bit bored. 
and I had already used a lot of the shades that I liked, so I ended up with shades I didn't really like. So here at least I have majority of shades that I enjoy. But yeah, I don't know. And dare I say it, I feel like this could use another matte. I was just thinking that this morning, because I did go into it today, and I went into Antidote, I went into Vibes, um, and then some other palettes of mine, but I was thinking, you know, if this had a different matte, something extra, then it might make it a little bit more exciting to me. And the only reason I think I think that is because I'm so bored of looking at the same color story. Any other shade in here might make it more interesting for me. But that's why I have other palettes to go into to combine them, so it's, it's not a big deal. But yeah, still, focus is hitting panel hexed, potentially Odo now, which is a surprise to me. And I think that's it really. Yeah, with two more months left. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all next time. And let me know about the Pan That Palette in order, because I, I don't know what to do about that one.